How are we today, fellow fighters? Today, we're going over Fairtex. The question is, why Fairtex? We've got two different gloves here. We've got the super sparring gloves and the universal gloves. Now, if you look at them side by side, this is both a black glove here, both made by Fairtex. You will notice if I line up the tops there, this universal glove is slightly shorter. And the super sparring locked thumb glove is a little bit longer, this one here. So the real question is, what's the difference? Do I need to care about the difference? And what is it even an issue? What's the deal here? What's, what's up with these gloves? Now, I've known a lot of fighters to own both different types of pairs, and they both love them. So now that that's out of the way, they're both good gloves. We don't need to worry about that. They're good gloves. Whatever one you buy, you're going to be happy with. But let's talk about the differences, okay? I'm going to put one on of each glove. This one is the super sparring glove with the locked thumb. And just to get the uh, comparison, I'll go white with the other one. This is the universal glove. Tight fit design is also what they call it. Universal tight fit design. And it is tighter. I can already say, if you're a big dude, uh, you should probably go with this glove. If you're that 200 plus pound guy that's got big hands, big gorilla monkey mitts, like this is gonna be a good glove. This is a 16 ounce glove and I don't have big hands, but I can feel there's a lot of room in there. Maybe with a wrap on that would take up some of the space, but this feels like a big glove to me. Let's now go with the universal tight fit. The universal tight fit is obviously tighter. I can feel that it is a bit of a squeeze to get my hand in there. If I had wraps on, I could get it in, but it would be uncomfortable. I don't know if you've had this with gloves before, but typically some gloves, especially the ringside gloves I've had, they're tight at first, but then they kind of just go to my custom fit over time. And I, I don't know if this glove would do that in, or not. Handmade in Thailand, genuine leather. Usually leather has a bit of a stretch to it and it will kind of flex and fit to whatever it's the pressure it's constantly put under. So it might loosen up. I'd say if you're under 200 pounds, this glove would probably be fine for you. So what's the difference? This one's obviously coming down my wrist more. I'm feeling that support. This one doesn't go down the wrist as much, so there obviously is not as much support. Now, if I were fighting somebody, <laughs> they're both 16 ounce gloves, but this one, I feel like if I needed to turn that corner and put a little snap and dig on my punch, I feel like I could. This one, I feel like I'm kind of just pushing a big old block into the punch. So now you got to ask yourself, what kind of fighter are you? Are you the type of guy that wants to protect your wrist and kind of lock your wrist into place and just send those punches? Or do you want that kind of that little bit of a flip, that twist? This one feels like it's just going to kind of snap maybe a little bit better on the punch. So with that said, maybe we're thinking now along the lines, okay, you don't have wrist problems. You like that little sneaky uh, rip, twist, snap on the end of your punch. Um, or with this one over here, we're thinking we got wrist problems. We're a big guy. We want the space. And so now we're starting to see there's a little bit of a difference depending on maybe your circumstances. All right, let's move on. Now watch me pay, pay attention to me take the, the Velcro off. Okay, so we've got, I don't know what that is, maybe three inches of Velcro. And that is maybe four inches of Velcro. So what am I talking about here? What you'll notice is you get about an inch more Velcro on this glove. Does it matter? I kind of think it does. 
the gloves that I have worn out, and I've done it to multiple gloves, the Velcro eventually starts to go to where you put your glove on, you're sparring and it falls right back off. You put your glove back on, do some bag work, it falls right back off. So it's the exact same Velcro. It's just on this glove, you're getting about four inches of Velcro. This glove, you're getting about three inches of Velcro. So durability, I would have to say that this glove, as long as the, as far as the Velcro is concerned, I'd have to say the Velcro is going to last longer on this glove. But with that being said, maybe because I'm a little bit bigger guy, I'd lean towards these. But man, I really love the freedom that this glove felt like it offered me. I don't know, honestly, guys. I have no idea. But I've given you guys some information. Hopefully that helps you out. Hopefully when you search and think, okay, that's my category. That's what I want. You now have a little bit more of an educated approach on deciding whether you want the universal tight fit design with not as much Velcro or the super sparring glove with the locked thumb with more Velcro. It said locked thumb. I don't know why it didn't. I didn't feel anything special in the thumb. The thumb felt very much the same here. Matter of fact, this thumb felt bigger. I didn't feel the lock, but it is what it is. I hope I helped you guys out. Leave a comment. Don't forget to like and subscribe over and out.